what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube this is your boy lb so now today i'm going to show you how to make color grading in this video tutorial i'm going to use two softwares first is adobe photoshop the second is premiere pro i'm going to color grade my whole music video project for this music project it has four scenes that i showed two scenes for inside and the other two scenes for outside so now the things I'm gonna do, I'm going to color grade those four scenes in the same time. So now, let's get jumping in Premiere Pro right now. So guys, this is the whole project of this music video. This project, I shot the four scenes. So this is the first one here, inside. And this is the second one, is also inside. And this is, let me find, and this is the third one. And the fourth one is just this one. So now, the things I'm gonna do, I'm going to take the screenshot of those four cents, okay? Because it is going to help me to make this color grading. So let me, start it by here. Now I'm going to click here on this export frame because mm, the format is GPEG let me browse let me put it on desktop this image and the press ok so now this is the first send let me find the second one mm, this is the first also oh sorry this is the second one ok let me export the frame also of the second one then press ok the third one uh -huh. Mm, this is the third one. Let me find the good, the good frame of it. The good frame of this third one. Mm -hmm. Okay, just let me export this. Let me export for this. Okay, this is the uh, the fourth one. Mm -hmm. Let me see the oh, okay. This is the third one. Okay, let me export this also. So now after this, open the Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm going to import those four images. Mm -hmm. It's located there on desktop. Then select those four images. Then open up. Mm -hmm. It will automatically open up in this Adobe Photoshop. So now I'm going to color grading by using this camera row okay so let me start i'm going here i'm going to increase here this contrast okay let me increase also this shadow let me increase this contrast okay 100 reducing the small highlight because there is footage inside the house then guys you have to make sure to select or control plus a for those four images okay mm -hmm. let me reduce this highlight include some small brack okay so now after this I'm going to just click here on HCRA adjustment so now click here on the saturation I'm going to increase some colors which is located on on this frame so in my frame I have some blue okay I increase this blue I increase these aquas I have also green here select all let me increase this green mm -hmm. I have also orange let me increase this orange. Uh -huh. Let me increase these purples. Uh -huh. Just for here. Let me back here on basic. Here I can reduce this temperature. Okay. No. 
when you are making the color grading you have to make sure for all those four clips okay uh -huh. select all so now back here on HCLA I'm going to change some colors uh -huh. I'm changing this blue into this one these aquas okay and then grace the glasses I can change for this grass just like here mm -hmm. let me increase some black okay because I have to make sure this it has it, it has done it has not more light mm -hmm. you have to increase the some small black select all again mm -hmm. come here to increase this hoo and then I just want to make some color collection which is gonna same as orange and teal okay wow this is perfect <clears throat> just I can increase some small saturation mm -hmm. Yeah, this is perfect to me so now guys after making your color collection so now come here on those four lines okay click on it just I'm going to save these settings I have been okay so now click here on save setting click here on save so let me rename my my settings let me call in color music okay let me save here on desktop then click save okay so now after this you can click here on done so now guys I'm going to use other softwares which is called LUT generator this software just you can download it on internet it's free go to internet and type LUT generator download and then download it okay it's free guys now click here on generate hard so this generate hard is going to export this sum is going to export the image which is going to help me to change that settings have been saved into LUT okay so now I just want to save this 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 image here on desktop now click here on select folder just click OK okay so now I'm going to import those image which this large generator export okay so now open up here again on Photoshop mm -hmm. those are the image which generate light generator gives me okay so now open up mm -hmm. so now after this open up the camera roll just click here on filter click here on camera roll filter so now the things I'm going to do I'm going to import to import the settings I have been saved before in Adobe Photoshop so now click here on those four lines and then click here on load for first time remember you have to save the settings okay when you have done to make your color grading for so for the second time we have to click here on load settings because I'm going to import that settings I have been saved before click on desktop is this one okay so now click on it and then open up as you see here my image it changes okay so now click okay so now I'm going to save this image in PNG file okay so now click here on file click save as as you see here my format it is in PNG file so let me rename it it's also Cora let me let me rename just color grading for example grading mm -hmm. it is also saved on desktop click save then press ok so now after this back on my LUT generator software so now for first time you have to click here on generate hard okay it will export this image so now for the second time I'm going to 
click here to convert to cube because I'm going to convert this my image have been export on Adobe Photoshop into LUT so I have been rename it here color grading so now click on it then press OK conversion is done so now click OK so now back here in Adobe Premiere Pro so now I'm going to apply my color correction on all these project okay so now i'm going to create an adjustment layer so now I click here on new item click here on adjustment layer press ok so now drag this adjustment layer here on timeline so this adjustment layer is for this crop left and right okay so now mm -hmm, extend this adjustment layer where the project is so now I click on it so now after this click here on color okay so now I'm going to import my LUT my LUT okay so now click here on basic correction so now import your LUT browse it where you have been saved I've been saved here on desktop so this is my color grading LUT okay so now import it okay so now let me pray let me see how my footage is. So now after these guys, I'm going to edit this skin tone. I'm going to edit this, this skin tone. So you can increase an exposure. Okay. So now going to create the other adjustment layer for skin tone so now put it here on the timeline and then extend let me find the good frame where I can I can make this this skin tone okay now click here on this adjustment layer so now close this basic correction and then open up this HCL secondary so now click here on red because I just want this this skin tone okay then after this click here on color gray so now I'm going to find the I just want the the skin only okay just want the skin the skin okay want the skin only okay so now after this I can Please, the fitness of it and saturation. Okay, just like this one. So now let me increase this blurriness. Uh, okay, so now let me pray. Let me see how is it. Okay, guys, you see here. My skin is very, it's very cool, bro. Uh -huh. So now my my color correction is applied for whole music. There is some look, some these stuff. So you can click here on it. They can you can just manage it. Then I just want to. To remove it mm -hmm. just like this okay come on okay yeah guys it's done my stuff it's done bro done bro it's done it's done it's done yeah so guys thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe like drop your comment down below and let me know what you think see you in next video